Hey everyone and welcome to the 6th Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the concept called moments. Moments in the image processing field are scalar quantities which provide various information which are invariant in nature. Image moments are useful to describe objects after segmentation. Simple properties of image which are found via image moments include area or its total intensity, its centroid and information about its orientation. Okay, in OpenCV, we have a function called uh, CV moments, which is going to calculate the moments for us. Generally, moments are calculated using the formula m eq equals summation i equals 1 to n i of x comma y and x power p y power q, where p is the x order and q is the y order. So in OpenCV, we have a function called CV moments, which takes the three input arguments. Uh, first one is the image. Second one is the moments variable, that is CV moments moments. Third one is the integer. If the image variable is a binary format, then this integer is 1. If the image is not a binary, then this integer is 0. All the moments which are going to be calculated uh, in this image, from this particular image, uh, is going to be stored in this moments variable. So, once the moments has been calculated, we can extract central moments, normalized moments, hue moments, and special moments. The central moments returns a double variable which uh, accepts the three inputs uh, that is the moments variable and the x, y order, uh, x and the y order. Normalized moments accepts three inputs as well and returns a double variable. Okay, first, one, uh, first one is the moments variable and the other two are the integer variables. Third one is the hue invariant moments can also be calculated using the moments which accepts the moments as the first parameter and hue moments as the second parameter. The last one is the spatial moments. Uh, spatial moments also accepts three parameters. The first one is the moments variable. The uh, second and the third are the integer variables, which represents x and y orders. This also returns a double variable. So basically, a spatial moments gives the information about the object in an image that is related on the object position. The central moments are adjusted for translational invariance by moving the origin of the coordinate system used for calculation to the centroid or center of gravity of the object. The central normalized moments are scaled by the area of the object and thus are scale invariant in addition to the translational invariants. So that's a brief info about the concept moments. So this whole tutorial is divided into two parts. The first part is the coding part. The second one is the application part, where in which I'll be demonstrating a simple application in which a webcam can be programmed as a virtual mouse for controlling the mouse actions such as left click, right click and moving the mouse cursors on the screen. Okay, let's come to the coding part. I mean, here I have created a new project called Java CV6 and a new class called Moments Main and I have imported the library files and I'll, uh, you know, cut and paste the last program itself. It's the control filtering operation. I'll just show you. Okay, here it is. If I show the blue pattern okay it's just the last program itself the control filtering operation will come over here I'll just create a new variable called moments to store the moments CD moments new CD moments of here load of CD moments dot class. Okay. Now in here, after the second while loop, to calculate the moments, I'll write the function as CD moments of this. As I told earlier, this function is going to accept three inputs three parameters. The first one is the image. I'll just input as image bin, the binary image. Second one is the moments variable. The third one is the integer, which will indicate this image is in a binary format. Uh, once the moments has been calculated, I can calculate uh, spatial moments and central moments. So by using those spatial and central moments, I can calculate the exact pixel coordinates of a particular pattern in an image. Okay. Now, uh, as I told earlier, the special moments and central moments return a double variable. I'll create two double variables, double, 
m10 for the x order m01 for the y order and m area for calculating the central moments here m10 equals cb you get spatial moment this accepts three arguments uh, first one is the moments variable and the other two are integer variables I am writing 1 for the x order and 0 for the y order so I am indicating to only calculate the x order spatial moment the next one is m01 to calculate the y order I will just copy and paste the code and change the parameters like this okay and to calculate the centralized moments area equals cv get central moment moments comma zero comma zero okay in order to calculate the position values i'll just create two integer variables called int pose x pose y initialize them to zero okay coming back to the code in here after calculating the m area or central moments pose x equals m10 divided by m area and I'll just add the cast operator same for pose y m01 divided by m area okay once I got the position values I just had to display them on the console so if pose x is greater than 0 and pose y is greater than 0 then sysup x equals plus pose x comma y equals plus pose y Okay, now if I run the program, okay, there are no contours and there are no moments, so hence the console window is empty. Once I display the blue color object, I'll get the coordinate values, x and y coordinates of that particular object, of that particular contour. same for the square pattern okay I'll just add another line of code called CV circle which is going to draw a circle on the image 1 at the points position X and Y so let's run the program and see okay right now it's at 0 comma 0 the circle once I display the object to it it's going to draw the circle on the center of gravity or the COG of the pattern or, or of the contour okay so that's it for the sixth java cv tutorial that is the coding part of the java cv sixth tutorial watch the next part of this java cv tutorial part b application part when, uh, when which I'll just transform this code so that you can control the movement of the mouse cursor through the webcam and also perform left click and right click operations so that your webcam behaves as a virtual mouse. Thank you for watching this video. Keep visiting my blog engineervisions.blogspot.in for more details and updates.